Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous and I mean over the top beautiful day here in paradise in an undisclosed location here on the planet today where the little dog is looking for squirrelies like that. Uh, it is Wednesday, November 25th, 2020, the day before Thanksgiving as uh, we're all riveted to where we're going to stuff our faces uh, out of sight of the cops tomorrow as Thanksgiving has been declared illegal on the planet and of course where we're going to go shopping on Black Friday. Oh yes, uh, I am Sam Mitchell. This is Collapse Chronicles and this is my little squirrel hound, Sancho Panza. Where's that squirrely like that? But anyway, speaking of Thanksgiving, we're going to go over for today's, we're just going to do a little mishmash from today's mainstream media. We're going to go see what the elephants in Sri Lanka are doing for what is this elephant's plan uh, for Thanksgiving in Sri Lanka. This is Reuters videos right here on today's mainstream media. I uh, don't think I'm going to get a copyright violation. I'm just going to play this video. So while you are stuffing your elephantine obese face tomorrow, uh, think about these elephants over in Sri Lanka. Uh, anybody wanting to know what the collapse of a planet looks like and why humans need to go extinct, this should give you some idea. Here are some Happy Thanksgiving viewing to start your day. Take it away, Reuters video. Rummaging through heaps of trash, elephants in eastern Sri Lanka look for pieces of wilted vegetable to eat. They're unaware that the plastic they sometimes pick up might kill them. A landfill site in the town of Ampara was created about a decade ago and is one of three garbage areas located next to a wildlife protection zone. The smell draws in dozens of elephants and other wild animals every day. P.H. Kumera of the Galoya Farmers Union says the rubbish is fatal for them. There is no proper plan or a system for this. Local government institutions have established landfills on the border of the wildlife protection zones. Once that is done, the wild elephants and other wild animals who eat the rubbish die. The government is digging trenches around the dump to ward away the elephants. Oh, yeah. They also want to keep the large animals from the town, where they've been known to destroy crops, property and even people. All right. It's a shaky coexistence between the villagers and the wild animals. Local environmental groups go. say 361 elephants died last year, mostly Oops. because of humans. All While can human see deaths from elephants range from 20 to 80 a year. There are around 7,500 wild elephants in Sri Lanka. All right, well, 20 to 80 people a year. Uh, where is, I wish I could get that picture uh, of, uh, there you go. If, you, if I could get out of the picture, what this is, is a picture of a dead baby elephant lying in a pile of garbage. Uh... There you go. All right, but uh, we're going to switch videos now. And I want you to tell me where this, uh, this video is taken. We're going to uh, turn the sound off. So uh, Black Friday was actually... Uh, on Monday. Damn it, I wish I could get rid of this. Uh... Anyway, I can't do anything about this reflection. All right, we're going to watch a video of, of Black Monday, I guess. You tell me what country this video was filmed in. Of uh, these clueless, more, I, I mean, throngs and, and lines. Damn this uh, reflection. So this is, you know, looking at shopping malls and all of this. Just a regular Black Friday. Look at this. 
uh, overstuffed shopping mall, you know, at all of the trendy stores, people uh, piling up their shopping baskets. I don't see any actual knife fights in the lines. Uh, anyway, I'm glad to see the... Now, in some, in some countries, the economy is booming despite the corona panic. Look at the people lined up. I think they're lined up outside of a shoe store. But if your guess was Venezuela, this is Black Monday in the collapsed country of Venezuela. I, was, I, I am completely confused. I have been reporting for like three years that Venezuela is uh, is one of the most collapsed countries on the planet. I, oh yeah, I can really see how these uh, how these Venezuelans are digging in the dirt. Okay, but uh, as long as we're down there. In, uh, in Latin America, uh, <clears throat> several stories of this. This is the Daily Beast. Migrants flee climate change ravaged Central America as record-breaking hurricanes hit. Uh, this is anybody who does not understand what climate uh, refugees look like. If I'm not enough of a climate refugee, uh, I'm just going to read a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to start out in Guatemala City, which is truly one of the pits of hell on the planet. <clears throat> Communities across Guatemala and the rest of Central America <coughs> are reeling, are reeling <coughs> from the impacts of two consecutive hurricanes that left towns flooded and destroyed crops across the region. The two massive storms, Eta and Iota, hit Central America hard, displacing millions <clears throat> across the region and leaving hundreds of people dead. <clears throat> All across Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, in Panama, <clears throat> homes have flooded, roads and bridges have washed away, and crops have been destroyed. <clears throat> yep, can you say, uh, famine on its way. Uh, these, uh, the impacts of the storms will have ramifications for years. The destruction left in the wake of the hurricanes highlights the impacts of human-caused climate change, factors which are driving hundreds of thousands from Central America to <clears throat> seek to reach the United States. Yep. And, um... There's a picture from Nicaragua yesterday. Uh, yep, drawing the uh, dots between uh, <clears throat> between uh, climate change and migration. Catastrophic convergence. The region remains in a constant state of crisis brought about by endemic corruption, environmental degradation caused by extractive industries and agribusiness, and extreme poverty. <coughs> of course, you will not hear the word overpopulation anywhere in this or any of the other stories. You will not find the O word in any of these uh, <clears throat> stories. These factors along with <clears throat> climate change are pushing hundreds of thousands from Central America 
to migrate to the U.S. Uh, migration is going to increase. <clears throat> migration is not the first decision for many, but as crises mount, it becomes the only option. Yep. Um, anyway, <coughs> uh, you can look forward to more of this. Um, but we're going to end up, of course, with the story that uh, the you know the most important story for 99 percent of the people on the planet toilet paper is selling out again here is where you can still buy toilet paper yes <clears throat> oh boy The toilet paper shortage begins again, but uh, speaking of toilet paper, uh, <clears throat> I need to go uh, check out my own toilet paper shortage here in paradise. So I'm going to have to wrap up today's uh, <clears throat> short and sweet chronicle of the collapse and uh, wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving 2020. I hope you are not arrested by armed thugs for having dinner with your own family. Bye, guys.